Hi everyone, Charles here for MLE Papers. How are you doing? August is coming and for many of us, it means holidays or less busy projects for those who are working. And overall more time. And more time means more opportunity for us machine learning enthusiasts to learn more about machine learning. So whether you're a student, a professional, engineer, researcher, quant data scientist, or an enthusiast, in today's video, I will give you my take on what to do this summer so that you will come back in September well rested and with a whole new toolbox to thrive in machine learning. As always, before we get into the core of the topic, that would be fantastic if you could give this video a thumbs up, subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified of the next videos. That's completely free for you and that really helps the channel. Thank you very much. Let's jump in. Rest, work or study? Before considering what to study or work on, should we even study or work on something during the summer? This is a very personal and even cultural thing. Personally, I need to take a short break every summer for around a week and enjoy outdoor activities or some time with my family. And I would advise you to do the same. Work or studies are one thing, your well-being is another one. And the benefit of working 52 weeks per year instead of 51 is probably less valuable than the benefit of relaxing one week instead of zero. Furthermore, not thinking about your work or studies can help you to have a fresher take on what you're going to do. After I take a break from my PhD research work, I usually question what I have done before. Not that it's wrong, but it gives me new fresh ideas and I start to wonder if there were not other approaches which would have been more efficient to solve my problem. So it's all good, we chill and let the ideas flourish. Now, what time of the year and how long you get some rest really depends on you, your mental health, and at what stage of your life you are. But my take here is take a break at some point. And most importantly, don't feel guilty about it. You take a break because you need it, like you need water. There is no reason to feel more guilty about the break that you take than about the water that you drink. Practice or learn more. Now, after you had a good break, you may still have some time to left to learn something new. Precisely, there are two things that you can do. Number one, a new project. Not an old one to complete, a completely new one. At least for me, there are few things in the world that are more depressing than an old burden that you feel obligated to complete. Instead, just start something new that you're going to enjoy. There are many reasonable options here. You could decide to program an app or a game as a personal project. This is probably the best way in the world to boost your programming skills. And those are extremely valuable in the machine learning job market. If you want to do something purely machine learning, you could try to program AlphaGo Zero, the algorithm which beat the world champion Lee Sedol at the game of Go. Or you can program the original digit recognition deep neural network from Yan Lequin. The list is endless, and so are your options. Now, how to choose the right project? Beside the obvious that you should take a project of the right difficulty and length, there are three things you should take into consideration before getting onto that path. One, if you want to program a specific algorithm, the code should be publicly available and reproducible. It is unfortunate, but not all research papers provide a public code, let alone one which works. You are warned. Number two, for some projects, and I am thinking deep neural networks here, you may need a couple of GPUs. If you're a student, your university may give you access to some, but otherwise, this type of project might not be for you. Number three, and most importantly, take a project that really makes you excited. At the end of the day, you would be spending your summer on it, so you gotta like it. Learn something new. The second thing you can do is to learn something new. Now, some people may tell you to check what you already know and work on your weaknesses. That makes sense, that's useful, I can't argue with that. However, those are the things that you do all year round. Check what you know, fix your mistakes, go through the same materials over and over again, and they are not pleasing to work on. From that perspective, they belong more to the standard day-to-day -day work routine. So my personal take is do something completely different and fresh. Take a fresh topic that you never had a chance to explore before, but you always wanted to. Something completely unrelated to what you are doing and fresh. There are lots of books out there, many of which are available for free on the web. Choose one book on that fresh topic and read it. It will give you a new perspective on topics that you are working on and your ideas will be as inspiring as fresh air. Fresh air. You heard about automata theory but never knew what it was? Why not tip your toes in there? You have heard about Fermat's last theorem and you are curious about the proof? Why not find a reference in algebraic number theory and try to understand the proof, at least in the case p is equal to 4 or is a regular prime? 
Now, how on earth can that be any useful for machine learning? The truth is, I don't know. But it is. Recently, we have seen the surge of so many fields successfully applied to machine learning, from information geometry to optimal transport. And checking something non-standard may put you on top of a wave, giving you an insanely unfair advantage over the conventional crowd. All right, in case you had no idea what to do this summer 10 minutes ago, now you do. What are you going to do this summer? Please let me know in the comment section down below. I would love to hear from you. Again, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe and hit the bell icon. I would really appreciate that. Also, don't forget to check out my other videos for more or less technical content. Thanks again so much for watching. I wish you a wonderful week, an amazing summer, and I will see you in the next video. Cheers.